Muslims are now fasting in the month of Ramadan. Well, it's that time of year again. And as you can see, I'm fasting Islam style. Real fasting versus Ramadan fasting, as you see, are quite different. It's almost like comparing apples with oranges. But since Muslims are feasting during this month, I have a small gift in the shape of a video to share with our black stone kissing friends. And I hope you can share this video with all the Muslims on the World Wide Web. I found a book called Bada' al Fawaid by Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyyah. In this book of the famous Hanbali scholar Ibn Qayyim, on page 1473, I found a disturbing detail that most Muslims don't know about. This book explains how a Muslim man can relax during the month of Ramadan and what he is allowed to do. It was narrated by Ahmed ibn Hanbal that a man came to him who feared that he would ejaculate while he was fasting. Ahmed said, What I see that he can release semen without ruining the fast. He can masturbate using his hands or the hands of his wife. If he has an amma, whether be it a small child or little girl, she can masturbate him using her hands. And if she was a non-believer, he can sleep with her without releasing his semen. If he released it in her, it becomes impermissible. As you see, even the little prepubescent girls are not safe during the month of Ramadan. Pedophilia and sexually abusing innocent little kids turns out to be halal during the month of Ramadan. That's the halal fun that Zach and Ike was talking about. That it is hard to resist. And moreover, what can one do to pass time or have fun? The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. No, no, like all of you, I'm now totally convinced that Islam is not a satanic cult from Satan. Stay away from Islam.